What up, y'all? So I just got done with the gym. Uh, headed back home. I'm gonna shower, pack up my stuff, and then probably head down to the shop, get the truck ready for the trip, and we'll be back in Sacramento by Thursday. So when we go to Denver and back, it's a three-day trip. Uh, it's still UPS. So I'll be running this UPS thing for however long. Uh, I am still gonna be driving the Volvo for a while. Uh, the Kenworth is actually the whole motor's taken apart right now. I did just get a new head, but that's gonna be another story. So I have I have a clip or two on how the truck is, how it looks, with the head off and all that. And I ended up buying a new head. So uh, I'll update you guys on that when the time is right, when I go pick the truck up, we do a little walk around and things have been done to it. Um, so update as far as what the future is going to hold I'll be running another month or two Maybe a month of Well I'll be running this for a while But like a solid month of UPS And then I'm going to put a driver on it Because if you guys didn't know 75 Chrome Shop is having a truck show And that's about an hour away from Trucker AK's house And that's probably where I'll be going So from from his place about an hour so we're probably gonna end up if i leave my trailer anywhere or maybe his yard or somewhere around there if i can find where i can leave my trailer we might just uh bobtail down there to the 75 chrome shop and so i'll we'll give you guys a chance to meet him and and whatever and we're just gonna be chilling there hanging out so there's an update about that um my truck will be there and then after that we'll see but for now just headed to my house, pack up my stuff, go to the yard, and we'll continue the trip from there. And hopefully we'll get lucky tonight too with the UPS because it's not supposed to pick up till tomorrow, 8 a.m. But last week I was able to pick up at 10 p.m. the night prior, which would be like today, Monday. So if we get lucky, boys, that'll be another good day. But it all depends on who's working and, and what they got for us. So we should be... Uh, Usually Mondays are pretty good, so let's get this show on the road. I just got here to Lathrop, and they said, uh, well, I called in uh, early, even though my appointment's for 7 a.m. I called them, and he said they're kind of they're kind of slow tonight. Uh, they're not sending out any trailers that are not 100% full. So he said, um, uh, call the night shift at like 1 a.m., 2 a.m. when they swap over and see what they're looking like because they might, uh, they might, you know, have a trailer that's, that's already loaded and ready to go. So I'll give them a call at like 2, 3 a.m. whenever I wake up. I'm going to set my alarm. And then uh, hopefully get get going. So until then, I'm going to do some paperwork. Um maybe eat another right here's just my uh my vegetables and my, my cucumber my bananas my apples so i might have a cucumber or an apple right now while i just do some paperwork and watch some aviation videos i've been big into aviation lately i've been loving that so anyway getting sidetracked um yeah we'll see you guys in a little bit i guess for you it's gonna be right now but for me it's gonna be like another six seven hours maybe ten so we'll see We'll get a nice little restart, restart here. So that's cool. Not, not too worried about it. But yeah, until then, guys, I will see you in a little bit. All right, guys, let's get this night shuffle going. Look up to our UPS trailer. So, look at the airlines. Like so. Pigtail. There she is. It's all good. Now, what we're going to do is hit these flashers. With that landing gear, as always.
All right, that was a quick free trip. Got our paperwork. That light isn't working, but it keeps coming on, so I don't know what's going on with it. So, let's get in. The blinker's off. Do our logbook. Call this in. And uh, get going. And, like so. Took this guy long enough. like that we're out of here boys it's been just over an hour almost two hours this is why I sleep right here usually when I'm here nobody ever parks there I don't know why but uh I've been parking there sleeping right at that spot I'm not in anybody's way so it's cool so this trailer feels light of course it's light, it's uh, packages. Uh, yeah, so just trying to make it somewhere in Nevada today before I have to take any kind of a nap. Plaster some uh, traffic, some uh, California traffic. Look at this thing, guys. How about that? Massive truck. For a bolo. You know I made it to my favorite fuel stop here in Mill City. And uh let's get some go juice and get the show on the road. You guys it's like 30 degrees out here it may look nice but boy it sounds good now this one doesn't have the thing on it but they're still good Fancy dinner at Little America. I'm waiting on my dispatcher actually. I caught up to him. One of his trucks broke down and he's going to pick it up. And uh, I caught up to him, so I got him some food as well. He got me some steak, eggs, potatoes. So this place has been re renovated really good. It's a cool little truck stop now. So yeah, I'm gonna eat this and uh, head out. Let's do it. Here goes Serge towing, towing one of his trucks with his other truck. Fighting for the bad quality. W9 and get his driver the loaner truck and uh, he's gonna head back tomorrow sometime well he's gonna be there tomorrow sometime so I'm assuming he's gonna head back the day after tomorrow or whatever probably Thursday are blowing.
Uh, not yet, but it's calling for uh, like 5 a.m. or so. So far, I'm doing all right for uh, being really light. I don't mind this at all, so. If you notice, I'm kind of hanging towards the right side of the road a little bit more. It's just where the road leans a little bit less. So most roads I go at an angle, right? And they go either left or they go right. So that that's made uh, so the water can drip, right? Either left or it can go right. So that's, uh, so you're on a hydroplane. So with that being said is, the road leans like this and since I'm light and if it's uh you know if it's icy but on top of this right here it's kind of more flat and then you have the you know the ridges from the uh, little zipper thing so it's a little bit of an extra grip you know in case I do hit an icy spot and my trailer decides to go into uh, left lane <laughs> but uh, so far yeah so far we're pretty good. It's a little uh, little bump in the road, typical Wyoming. Nothing new. So you get the blowing snow like this, and then you know we, we go over it over and over again, and it's about like 12 degrees right now, so it turns into ice. stuff you guys have seen coming from the right side of me is uh just wind 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 and the visibility is probably better than you see on the camera as, on the camera as always than it is in person but if you've been here and you've experienced Wyoming at its best or its worst, then you you understand. You're a trooper. So showing this for the next 45 miles, it was like a total of 75 miles. We are in Denver, Colorado. Flash 
pressure's on. And we go this way. I think you guys are uh, familiar with this site already. <laughs> what could Brown do for you? So we made it back to Cheyenne, Wyoming. I went to Denver, I swapped the trailers. Um, the the other team that was bringing the, this trailer that I have now, they were running behind or they were running late or something like that. So after I checked in, I had to wait for like another four hours. So I took advantage of it and I slept, but now, cause I was hoping when I dropped my trailer that I could pick this one up and make it, you know, out of Wyoming before it gets really bad. Unfortunately, Wyoming is really bad. Right now it's about, I mean, I don't know if there's 60 mile an hour winds. I don't, you know, I don't have a radar detector, but they, they are pretty bad right now. So typically I would drive through stuff like this, but they're worse than they usually are the last couple of weeks. Um, I came in, it was pretty windy and blowing snow over all the, over all the big mountains that are actually supposed to be the worst. But right now I was coming back and there was two trucks rolled over within a couple of miles of each other. Uh, so two factors in that is weight and speed. So they're driving too fast for how light they were and they got tipped over, simple as that. Uh, I'm almost empty, uh, trailer is 50% full, but it's packages, it's UPS. So it's not heavy by any means. It almost, it's almost as much as you know an empty trailer. So with that being said, um, I'll show you guys a little bit. I'll try to record a little bit here what's going on. Like you can never get it on camera, but it's actually blowing pretty good. There's a lot of trees moving and stuff. And depending on how the gusts come, that's the problem. The problem is not the wind. The problem is the gust. So you'll be you'll be pushing, you know, through winds, and then you have the gusts to add on to make things a lot worse. So I'm just not gonna risk it. I texted the broker, I told him, you know, hey, can't I'm not gonna drive, I don't wanna risk it, you know. Not a big deal, I'll still make it. So, um, yeah, we're just gonna sit and wait until it gets better. At least until it calms down a little bit and then uh, we'll end up going. So, uh, next update is gonna be in a couple hours, I guess, unless something interesting happens. So, yeah. Next day. Guys, I wasn't gonna vlog this strip, but uh, I'll do it anyway. So, just so I can kind of discuss some things as well for you guys that Actually, our truck drivers are thinking about coming to Cali when it's uh, storming or uh, a storm or after a storm, whatever. So, yes, it's pretty. It's really pretty when it snows. So, the reason we're crawling is because there is a lane closure for the simple fact that they have the road closed up there and they're checking for uh, for people who have chains on. So if you don't have your chains on on your uh, on your truck and or two wheel drive car. So for example, semi trucks, we're uh, right now they're max uh, maximum chains. So meaning, so you have one, two, three, four, five axles, right? So on your tractor, outside tires, all four. I mean, yeah, just the outside four. And then on your trailer, one axle. So you'll have a total of six chains on. That will be max. Uh, minimum chain requirement is gonna be uh, just two, two chains on the tractor and two on the trailer tires, and that's it. But there's a lot of people who don't know how to put on chains or they don't have chains or their they, their friend made it through and now they want to go and think they're going to make it through 
because for some reason they think it's open without chains. And then you just get this big old cluster. So you're gonna sit for hours, as you can see behind me, hours. You're gonna sit for hours in this line just for them to turn you around, make you go through the side roads back here. Or sometimes there's a turnaround up there and you'll come back over and around. But for the most part, everybody goes back down this way and you end up going back to Reno. So they do have chain uh, put on areas like uh, back here, right behind me. If you don't have chains, pull over and just wait it out. You can go on the Caltrans website on Google and figure out It'll, it'll literally tell you in words, plain English, uh, what the requirement is, where the chains are being put on, and just to make it right through. So, one of my buddies already made it through, and he he's pretty much not dealing with any of this because there's so many people that don't have chains that are not putting on chains. So he's just driving, and actually up there on Donner Pass, it is there is snow on the ground. So right now this is Boomtown, Nevada, which is like two miles before the California uh, state line. Three miles actually, there's a mile marker right over there. So three miles uh, before, the, before the state line and then it should clear up a little bit at least. I mean, it should get moving because right now, like I said, they have the chain control. So as people are coming up, they're either telling them to go turn around or uh, keep you know whatever keep going if you have your chains also if the road is closed to all trucks that means no trucks can get by and if you see you see cars going by or they'll have one side open and one side closed and uh, people will tell you on the CB because only because they're going the other way yeah yeah it's open it's open well yeah it's open for one side or if they see cars it's open well thing is trucky is a town so locals mail food products all that is allowed to get by chain control and even if you are going to shed across the pass down to sacramento bay area whatever if you're just going on uh, passing through you have to have perishables and or u.s mail this means no ups no fedex none of that is allowed no whatever redway and none of them so it's only going to be u.s mail and uh perishables so oh and uh cattle haulers livestock so I don't make the rules. That's just the California rules and they are what they are. But yeah, let's get going this way. And then uh, I'll holler at you guys when we get through. We'll see how it goes. So. We have some nice scenery. Just give you guys another last shot might still be snowing a little bit up top but for the most part it's all it's all stopped for now the storm passed through yeah cruising speed limit with the with the chains is about 35 i want to say i mean it's concrete so i'm going a little bit slower so i don't break my chains like this guy they either lose them they break them But uh, once I hit snow, then I can speed up to 35, 40 miles an hour where the chains were actually do, you know, what they're supposed to. But California does this thing where they make everybody put chains anywhere before it even snows usually. So it, it's pretty stupid. It damages a lot of stuff and considering the road, you know, see this? The road is pretty bad, it's pitted, it's all from uh, from chains, so.
but just to add on as well so we made it past our first check uh ch chain control area and they they determined that there wasn't enough snow because so far i've been driving a mist the last 20 miles and you don't need chains for this right so so uh they set up another train control so right now up here there's a so right here they put a highway patrol so you can't make a u-turn and then uh there's gonna be another train control up here in a little bit so that's why we're stopped so this is where the elevation starts to go up a little bit higher that means uh they got another train control for all the guys that got let through without chains because they ended up closing that chain control down because of the lack of snow so you can pay these clowns here 20 bucks to take your chains off and 30 bucks to put them on so it used to be per axle about 20 or 25 so now i don't know if it's still per axle or not or if it's or if it's for all of them but nonetheless 30 bucks and there's people here that install it for you and take them off at the other side now we're at about 7,000 feet right up here at uh, Boreal it's our ski resort snowboard all that crap still barely any snow but I found some I could drive in so I'm kind of picking to drive in it over like the just wet road this is these are our slopes up here and i guess you can kind of see it but there's a uh, ski lifts and there's people actually skiing right now and snowboarding then the chain control is going to end in about four miles i want to say Baby's off. Open the window because this truck likes to lock me out. So this is our chains. These are our bungees. You keep the bungees. So they're always pulling the chains. They're always pulling the chains in. So there's no way they can they can fall off. Because sometimes when the chains get loose, what they'll do is they'll, they'll start coming off this way and fall off or if you don't get it too tight over here and like not tight enough over there it'll go this way and get stuck between your uh dualies then you got yourself a real big issue so, so i'm just gonna go around take all these bungees off collect them simple as that so like so I got these off so now we just go around collect them and put them in the storage so pretty simple a nice Peter built it's a nice Peter built too so we just collect the chains pretty much and they are, they are frozen, believe me. These chains are like ice. We have arrived 
at UPS in Oakland, California. So I throw my shoes on. Yes, I drive with no shoes. I'm not out here like OTR rookie, some big old cowboy boots. So I gotta change into shorts as well because I really can't drive in uh, pants either. It just gets so freaking hot. All right, hit that button. Going. There it is. Don't forget that button. Okay. Woo. Bobtail. Bobtail hits different when you're shifting gears. I barely, barely learned how to drive manual like four months ago. Gotta pick a spot. So we just gotta pick a spot to park now. The entrance way. for us super loud in here but uh they had nothing for us so we're grabbing an empty yeah. so anyway let's get out of here yeah, and then um, I'm just gonna go across the lot. So we're gonna go this way, we're gonna go that way, we're gonna go this way. And uh, just grab any kind of an empty they have and get going. So we still gotta go sit in some traffic. Traffic's gonna be fun, so. Yeah, well, let's do that. And uh, I'll get to you guys when we get to our trailer. All right, so that is the trailer. You always check the back doors because they seem to always be open. So nice and empty. Still a UPS trailer. And I like this uh, thing they got going on here. It's pretty cool. I think I've only used one trailer with this system before. So it goes inwards like that. Bang, up and over. Everything uh, just to make it more expensive. So, sweet. It's not a standard UPS trailer. It's still a UPS trailer, just not the standard one of these you see. But like these have different compartments. So I don't know if you guys actually ever knew. Um, I always thought that they just had the doors separate, you know, just so you can reach packages from everywhere. But it's actually all separate compartments. One, two, three, four, see that? Five, and then there's more. They, oh, this one's already sealed up, so I'm not gonna get into that. So there's five more compartments on this side. Um, total of 10, so it's separated right down the middle, which is pretty cool, if you ask me. So yeah, so what we're gonna do is grab this trailer right here. No kingpin lock, says UPS on it. So we're good. No damage, 
far as I can see. But guys, this is something, this is something a pre-trip, something you will never notice. So I just started to pull out, didn't make it that far. And look at this. God knows how long this has been like this, but I just lost all trailer, trailer air. And when I push the button, when I push the button, I heard it leaking air, so I couldn't tell where it's from, and then I noticed. So yeah, let me put this back in, and then we'll get going. If it'll, if it's not um, stripped. All right, guys, she's in. Helps to have some uh, tools and a brain, but uh, not leaking anymore. I got the I got the button pushed in. So hopefully, no more bad luck with this trailer. All right, so we are at the Harlan lot in Lathrop. Let's back her up. Woo! Gonna leave it uh, pretty much anywhere over here. It's nothing but trailers. I'm the only tractor in here. There's, there's a thousand trailers. So, just gonna leave it here. Like so. Perfect. I don't wanna hit it. Yeah, some guy commented on my last video of the the Swift one while I was pulling that Swift trailer. He's like, you sure back like one of them? LOL. Like, okay, dude. Show me better, please. I want to see you get in the truck that has stacks right here. So when you look, you can't see anything. And a wheelbase that freaking long. Please. Everybody's a professional truck driver on ATS. Everybody can drive on that stupid game, huh? Anyway, some of your guys' comments, man. You guys, you guys should think before you post because you don't know it. But when we read it on our end, so even, so listen to this. When you guys comment and then you change your mind and you delete it, we still have it on our YouTube studio. We can still read your comment and that you deleted it. So if you're gonna write a comment talking crap and then changing your mind because you feel like you were too harsh, we already read it, baby. And then uh, sometimes if you can't find that person's profile, it's because they blocked your dumbass. So just keep that in mind. When you post when you post videos on YouTube that are directed to the creator that those comments are always there so there was a there was a noise earlier something something made a noise I don't know what it was but uh it sounded like glass breaking so I must have I must have ran over something I didn't feel like pulling over because the truck is still running good. Anyway, yeah, so. So that's just a pet peeve, guys. Is uh, don't talk crap. Unless you want to get blocked or deleted. I know a lot of you don't care because you can just go watch the next guy. So whatever. But point being is. If you can be a dick, don't delete it. It's there. Trailer's in good condition, really good condition. So we only uh, drove this trailer about 30 miles or so, 40 miles, so we're good here. My biggest problem right now is not having a mud flap and having to drive 40 miles home because you need it. But I'm not gonna put one on because I'm not gonna spend another four hours at a truck stop putting on a mud flap. So anyway, my shoe's on tied. So let's get rolling that way. Let's go get home already. We're already a day behind. All right, y'all. So 
that's the end of that trip. Uh, this next week, I'm not going to have a, uh, a load at all for UPS. They're saying because of bad weather through Wyoming that they're just going to take pretty much my load. And what they're going to do with that is they're going to load it up on a train and they're going to have the train take it up to Colorado. And then from Colorado, they're going to have, you know, whatever, their local guys take it off. So... It is what it is. It'll give me some time to catch up on whatever I got to do out here. So I've been debating on uh, seeing if I can book another load and just go out with, you know, my trailer and just do my own thing. But I got some stuff going on, some projects and stuff like that at home. So not sure if I'm going to go out yet. Uh, I guess we'll find out so anyway guys if you stuck to the whole vlog I appreciate you thank you for watching if you're not subscribed you don't have to subscribe if you are appreciate you but uh, I'll see you guys on the next one so take care peace